Okay guys, uh, this is Jason with FPV Model. Today we want to give you a look at what's inside the box. I'm a little excited about one uh, about this one. This is a, uh, well naturally it's going to be another uh, multi-rotor of some sort. But uh, I consider it to be kind of an evolution. Uh, what this is, is uh, really a prosumer grade. So it's for it's uh, more of a consumer grade product moving on to the professional line. You find them a lot with uh, the newer type of DSLR cameras coming out. So we want to show you a uh, an ARF multi-rotor that's easy to assemble and relatively quick to get up in the air all while keeping the professional qualities of a uh, higher end multi-rotor. So let's go ahead and open the box and show you what it looks like. So, we got the box open, and the first thing we can see is the main body here. So, let's go ahead and pull the main body out. There are a few things I'd like to talk about. One, you can see a uh, adapter that you don't see very often here. Uh, this adapter will connect to the arms. In a few moments, I'll show you, show you how that works. Also, if you notice here, this is going to be the attachment for the landing gear. Uh, this is a retractable landing gear that is pre-built into the system, so you don't have to worry about trying to uh, order any hard-to-find upgrades later on. Now, if we look inside, you will notice some wires coming out of here. Uh, there's wires for the servos that operate the landing gear. Uh, also, for your ESC and motor connections, they are already pre-installed. Now something about this is it is, a, it is an X4 design, uh, or you can also say an X8, because you can connect either four or eight motors to this, to this multi-rotor here. So inside, we have a pre-assembled uh, power distribution board. If you, opt for the, uh, if you opt for the X4, you're going to have four points of connection for each ESC connector. If you opt for the X8, it will come with 8.4 connection already connected for you. So, as you can see, uh, the majority of it actually comes pre-assembled. So that's uh, nice. That'll save you a lot of build time. So let's go ahead and move this off to the side. And on the inside of the package, we'll notice here that we are going to have, let's see if we can get them out here. This is going to be your uh, landing gear, so uh, the legs for your landing gear. So you got your carbon fiber, uh, carbon fiber legs right here. Also on the side here, we're going to have your uh, your feet that are going to keep it balanced once it is on the ground. So let's go ahead and move those off. Now, let's show you something that's actually kind of exciting. Here it is. So. Something that's nice about this is motors come pre-installed. They run down through the inside. Uh, as you can see, you have a top plate here for your top motor. If you get the X8, you're going to have a second plate just reversed, and it's going to have another motor on it. So, easy connections here. we open this up, and then they will slide into the body. I'll show you in one moment exactly how that's going to work. So. Here you go, you have your arm here, your motor. Let's go ahead and pull these out. Propellers, uh, these are 15 inch, or 15, 55s that come with it. You can, uh, you can upgrade later on. Say you want to operate a lower KV motor and you want to go for a larger size propeller, you are more than welcome to do that. Here's, uh, here's the fourth arm that we're taking out of the box. Here's your mounts for your landing gear that are going to connect to the body. Here's your, uh, propeller, your propeller mounts here. We got uh, four of those, one for each propeller. And then we're going to have the little rubber end caps for the feet. So as you can see, the box is empty. And we only have a few parts. Uh, 
with most of this coming pre-assembled, you're going to notice that your build time is going to be cut down dramatically. As you can see here in the main body, there are uh, several screws and everything that need to be uh, need to be put together. We've done a lot of the work and actually taken that work away from you. We also have uh, double mounts for batteries, so you can carry a uh, carry larger batteries and operate them in tandem. And we have other connectors. So if you want to uh, connect your power source for your gimbal and run it to uh, one battery connection, you can also do that. So let's go ahead and show you how the arms connect. So it's a relatively easy setup. Just go from on, as you can see here, it also says off. So we're going to open it up with on and connect the arm. Once we do that, lock the switches over to off. And you see you've got a uh, You've got an arm here that is connected to your frame, and it's also a pretty solid connection. So, let's go ahead and connect another arm. So, we'll go ahead and move it over to the on position. Line everything up, and let's go ahead and connect it into place. So, once again, we've got another arm on here that's connected. It's pretty solid, uh, pretty solid connection there. Uh, I know some of the things people are going to be worried about first is how well these connectors will actually connect and stay on. But what we're going to do is uh, we're actually going to build this one, put it all together, and make a few flight videos of it. And I believe we're going to send some out for testing. So, lock that one on. As you can see, It is a sturdy design. Also, looking at the arms, they're not round. They're more of an angular oval shape. And what this is going to do is add a lot more, add a lot more strength to your arms. So it's a, it's a very good design. It's also a pretty high quality design in the sense that it operates, or in the sense that it gives you a lot of strength. So let's move over to this one and slide it into place. Okay, so as you can see, most of it is already put together and we've done that within the duration of this video. So the only thing left to do after that is just go ahead, connect your arms in here, bolt that into place and put on your landing feet and you're ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this uh, put this together, put a flight controller on it, and we want to uh, we want to do a couple of videos showing it in flight, showing how the uh, landing gear works, and we just want to give you guys a quick look at it before we build it, so you know what you get whenever you order it, how it looks whenever it comes inside the box. So, anyways, if you have any questions, you can send me a message, Jason at FPVmodel.com, or you can send a message to sales at fpvmodel.com. If you're watching the video on YouTube, please like the video. It helps us climb up in the rankings. Also, if you're uh, watching it on Facebook and you want to share with any of your friends to let them know about the evolution of multi-rotors, go right ahead and do so. Thanks for watching.